Hey, hey, good morning, good morning, guys, and a welcome, welcome to the show. We are just leaving Winnipeg right now. We had to uh, bobtail to Winnipeg this morning to get our uh, preloaded trailer. And so now uh, we are off to a warmer part of the United States. Yeah, I like it. I like it should be nice and warm well at least nicer than it is up here it's minus 21 Celsius this morning up here without even the windshield so it's a cold one today that's for sure and we had pretty strong winds yesterday too so it kind of made uh, some snow drifts last night and the roads are a little slick now because of all of that because it built up some ice and whatever but I hope all of you guys had a very good time off good Christmas and all of that good stuff I certainly enjoyed having a few days off of making videos and all of that I hope you guys didn't mind too much <laughs> yep and I think later tonight We'll uh, put a new uh, GoPro clip on the, on the top here. Uh, we brought some rubbing alcohol so that way we can clean the surface real good. Maybe we'll do it, uh, we'll put it on later this afternoon or tonight and then uh, let it settle overnight so that way it sticks real good. And then maybe uh, tomorrow morning we should be able to get the camera so that way you can see uh, Hopefully both drivers or ho hopefully both seats and uh, I do have my wife with me guys I really do so we are on our way to Texas so we'll have to take our half an hour break probably later or something like that and um, might update the website let you guys know where we're going and all that good stuff anyways let's head towards the border hopefully there's not too much of a line up there today sure hope not and it's actually not a bad load that we have we have like a three dropper one by San Antonio and two in Loreto I just don't know what kind of reload we'll be able to get because Tuesday would be uh, January 1st and we were supposed to deliver all of this on uh, on Monday which I think is doable Hopefully it will work out and we can make it happen. Look at this guys, look at the uh, rainbow around the sun this morning. Looks kind of neat, doesn't it? Uh, at least I think it does. Anyways, we are coming up on the border here now. I know this first little stretch is going to be a little bit boring because it's the same road as I almost always travel, right? I-29. We're not in the States yet, we're still in Canada on the... Uh, 75 highway 75 here in Canada and I had to charge up my uh, my cameras this morning before I could start recording that's why you guys didn't see me actually going or leaving Steinbach and going to Winnipeg and all of that I had forgotten my uh, charging cords here in the truck and so I couldn't charge them at home before I left right so I had to charge him up before we took off and we did that but that looks really neat I like that I'm looking on the back of the screen there a little bit now yeah, that looks neat having them things shine around the Sun kind of like that that's interesting but anyways continue on cruising along here alrighty guys we are getting closer and closer to the South Dakota border yeah, I guess four-wheeler decided to park here on the side of the road. I don't know why. But hey, we're finally getting less and less of that uh, snow up in the air earlier when we showed you guys they're just past the border or just before the border, I think we showed you guys. We had gotten a little bit of snow drift and I mean, you still have a little bit of snow drift, but it doesn't seem to be as much in the air anymore than what it was earlier. However, the sun has still got that ring around it and whatever a little bit. Maybe not quite as visible now because there's not as much clouds around it, but 
still got it going on. Yeah, we're getting closer to the time too where we're gonna have to take our half an hour break. Freddie made us a restroom break, but other than that, we just been giving her, drinking a little bit of yerba. I know most of you guys won't know what it is, but except for the German people or Mennonites or whatever, but this is what it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. But anyways, we'll go ahead and continue on cruising along here and enjoy the beautiful sunshine. Hopefully we'll have nice weather down in Texas. I haven't really looked to see what it's supposed to be, but I'm hoping it's going to be really good. So I appreciate you guys tuning in and sticking around and see what our journey is going to be this week. It appears that the sun wants to go down over there. Are you guys seeing that too? Looks like a beautiful color to me on the screen anyways. Who knows what it's going to look like on the big screen later, but uh, it looks pretty neat to me. And we got some good news. We already got us a good load off her uh, picking up at uh, Laporte, Texas, which is just outside of Houston. Picking up a reload out of there and bringing it straight back to Winnipeg. That is fantastic news. I hadn't even made myself available yet and uh, they are already sending me a reload offer. I like that. I would take a trip like this every day, every week, uh, you know, like I would I would love a trip like this every week, single week. Fantastic miles, oh man, I couldn't complain about that, that's for sure. However, the sun is trying to go down on us, so we won't be able to make too many more video clips here in the daylight anyways. Somebody asked me the other day, why don't you ever drive at night? Well because I don't personally don't really care for it and second of all uh, the GoPro doesn't record very good at night at all and so uh, it's kind of kind of a bummer I even if I drive at night you won't hardly ever see any video clips from me because of that reason because it doesn't it just doesn't look good so I never include any of those clips generally but it looks like it's going to be another cold, cold night tonight again and we're going to have to hope for the best that the truck will keep us nice and warm. Yep, that's just how it goes, but we figured it out. If we make it up to Sioux, uh, Sioux Falls, there's a Flying J truck stop up there, then uh, we don't need to go any further than that tonight should have no problem making it already from where we are right now as we speak to make it all the way to our customers should be no problem by Sunday night and so we're only have 1181 miles to go as of right now to our customer to the first one and so we could stop right now and still be all right but we want to try and get down to uh, Sioux Falls and stay the night over there. I know it's gonna be really super tight by the time our eight hour break is required or our half an hour break is gonna be required, but keeping my fingers crossed, we'll be able to make it. According to my calculation, we should have about five or six minutes remaining when we roll in there. And that's good enough, right? We still have a few minutes remaining, who cares, right? <laughs> but other than that, let's hammer down and make it up there and call it a day hey guys we have finished our driving time on the last little stretch it started to get a little slick but hey we made it and let's have a look there is my wife yeah guess what she did she cooked us very nice supper look at that she's got hers over there on that yeah. side That's so good. it's not like the Volvo like where we had the table in the center eh? so it looks good we're going to go ahead and have us a good supper and enjoy our company tonight and uh, yeah, that's what it's all about, right? Oh yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Anyways, I'm hungry now after uh, smelling this in here for a good while. She cooked us a very nice stew and if you're wondering what it is, 
some chicken, onions, green peppers, red peppers. She had all kinds of uh, uh, what Seasoning. was it? seasonings in it. So I think it's going to be amazing. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below and uh, we'll try and reply to you guys again. Uh, you know, over the holidays, I kind of stayed off the internet, so I didn't really reply to any of you guys but hey we'll start getting back into it so let's have supper all right guys i forgot to show you one thing and that is this bad boy right here i don't know how good it's gonna be lit up well we'll lit it up real nice there anyways this is a microwave and i got a 50 dollar gift card from my brother for christmas and uh, 100 bucks cash from my dad so i went and got me this bad boy right here fits in beautifully what do you guys think i think it does may not be the greatest brand but hey it works that's all that matters and it fits perfectly into my uh space here where it's made for putting the microwave in it's got a strap on the side there i don't even yeah you can see it right there right there it is it's got a strap in behind there so you can uh really uh strap it down and all that so anyways that's my christmas gift that i gave myself uh from the stuff that i got from my dad and my brother so cost me 109 plus uh, tax at canadian tire for this one and so it was not too bad but now we got a microwave in here so we can uh heat up some stuff right so that's always nice but anyways we're going to go ahead and get out of here appreciate you guys tuning in for another show Come back tomorrow and see what we're up to, right? Say goodbye, everybody. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. That's it.